we've just had a delivery something I've been hoping to find for quite a while sometimes difficult to find and difficult to find in this kind of condition but they've just been dropped off now what I've managed to get at a bargain price is four genuine wolf race alloy wheels all 13 inch all 4x108 stud pattern or PCD which means that they will fit the Cortina they're absolutely fantastic now the wheels on the Cortina at the moment are 14 inch TSWs from South Africa I know they're a brand you can buy over here but apparently these ones are uh, only available for sale in South Africa as I said the 14 inches still 4x108 stud pattern but uh, I've never been too sure whether I like them or not they're kind of growing on us, they do stand out a bit, but of course everything looks better with the Wolf Race alloy on it. And I know these are genuine Wolf Race, because it's embossed or engraved into the wheel rim. And obviously the size there, 5.5 by 13, absolutely perfect. As I said, 4 by one ways. They look amazing on the Cortina. Now not only did I get these four Wolf Race alloys, they also came with the centre caps as well. And on top of that, the centre caps have got the original Wolf Race. Is that right around? Yeah. I've got the original Wolf Race stickers in the middle of the wheels. Absolutely perfect. Obviously a little bit scruffy, a little bit dented, so they do need some polishing up, they do need some work done in them. But we'll get into that in another video. This was just to see what's arrived. Now the slots on these ones are, as you can see, they're painted black. I don't know whether they've been painted black in the factory when they were made or by a previous owner but they're all this inside the slots are black and normally usually when you see these on uh, on hot rods or custom cars or race cars normally when you see them these slots are sometimes painted to match the car that they're on and match the paint scheme of the car other times they're painted red a lot of the time you do see them painted red the ones that i've got on the charger the slots in those are painted red, but I painted the slots red and those to fit the charger. The ones I've got in the shed and in the garage to go on the Ranchero, the slots in those are painted red, or they were originally. I will be repainting those because obviously they're a bit battered now and a bit scraped up, but I will be repainting those red. So I think what I'll do with the slots on those wolf face I've just getting, I think I'll paint those red as well because to me, a polished wolfie isn't a polished wolfie without a red slot. Now, in case you're wondering what the fascination with wolf face alloys is, or as the more commonly known, slot mags the uh, cars over here in the uk for years from probably the 40s 30s 40s onwards i think used to only come when you bought them new they would only come with steel wheels sometimes they had hub caps or wheel trims as they're more commonly known these days but there were always steel wheels that were on there and to a degree they did look ugly they were great when you first got the car when they were painted from the factory but as the paint wore off and flaked off and rusts and scabs started appearing they did end up looking really monkey throughout the course of time now back in america back then you could get all manner of aftermarket wheels especially for the racers and the hot rods over there there was halibrands there was ansons uh there was daisy mags uh, there was all manner of, uh, of wheels american racing wheels and um i think there was krieger as well there was all manner of, of designs and all manner of looks that you could get with regards to what wheels you put on your car and of course what size wheels you fit into your car as well now over here in the uk back in 1971 a gentleman by the name of barry tracy noticed there was a gap in the market for aftermarket wheels so what he did was he founded the company called wolf race i think it was wolf race alloys back then i think it's just known as wolf race wheels or it may still be known as wolf race alloy wheels now but he founded the company way back in 1971 and he was also the first person and the first company to introduce polished slot mag wheels to the uk aftermarket for fitment to various cars now there's loads of cars that have been fitted with these in the past standard cars uh, i've seen them on minis i've seen them on old Vauxhalls like vivas i've seen them on beetles uh, i've seen them on cortinas in the past i've seen them on capris obviously i've got them fitted to my charger i have got a set that will be getting fitted to the ranchero and now i've got a set that will be getting fitted to the cortina believe it or not the price i paid for those wolfies out there it was cheaper to buy was that complete set of four with the hub caps or the center caps than it was to buy four new tires for the cortina absolutely unbelievable the prices of, of tires these days it's cheaper to buy a set of classic wolf race alloys than it is to get a set of tires and a set of new tires 
for the cop. Incidentally, in case you're wondering, the term slot mags, which mostly refers to any kind of uh, of slotted wheel, like the Wolf Race, or I think you'd get um, Cobra Super Slots back in the day, obviously Anson's and Halibrands. Now, back in the early days, they were called, they're called slot mags now because back in the early days, they were made of magnesium alloy. Now, I don't know if those ones that I've got out there are actually made of magnesium alloy, but the two that I have outside in the garage, the I think the 10 by 15 Wolf Race, they are genuine first generation magnesium slot mag uh, Wolf Race wheels. Now, magnesium, if you've ever done any form of chemistry at school or if you're into physics, into any kind of chemistry at all, uh, you'll know that magnesium, when it's set a light to, it can burn or it does burn voraciously and hugely brightly as well. It's almost worse than lithium that you see in these days when those stupid EV things catch fire at the side of the road. The only difference is magnesium at some point will burn out uh, and it, it will go out. But if you have any kind of accident at, at home in the garage or and you, if you have cars involved in an accident and you do have genuine magnesium alloy on wheels on the car, stay well away from them if the wheels do start to burn or the tyres start to burn because magnesium itself, when it gets hot enough, it's a voracious brightness that it burns with and you can stay well away from something like that. Don't get involved in that at all. And of course, these days, you still see wolf race slot marks on whole loads of cars on a range of cars. The most popular um, on cars that you see at the drag strip, a lot of people at the drag strip use them for wheels to just put on the car or to go down the track with. And also, they're incredibly popular on the old Ford Pops, the Sit Up and Beg Ford Pop. Uh, I'll stick a picture in here so you can have a look at that and uh, some pictures of what, other, what they look like on other cars as well. But the, they're a great wheel. Uh, I happen to be very biased. Obviously, my channel logo is a slot mag wheel. And uh, like I say, I've got them on the car, on the, um, I've got them on the charger. They're going to go on the Ranchero. Now I've got a set for the Cortina. The ones that I've just bought, they are 4x108. So they are a four stud Ford stud pattern. Um, they will go on the Mondeo, but as far as I know, Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on this one. As far as I'm sure I read somewhere, or at some point somebody told me, that um, a Wolf Race slot mag, certainly of that generation where the, the wheels are actually dished inwards, uh, they're a rear wheel drive wheel that can't be fitted to a front wheel drive wheel. Now I know back in, I think it was the 90s or the 2000s, uh, the early 2000s, Wolf Race did bring out a revamped version uh, where they reinvented the Wolf Race slot mag, but they were dished out over. Um, they were convex, uh, yeah, they were convex, not concave, and they were designed specifically for front wheel drive cars. Now, obviously, I'm not 100% certain. Uh, it's it's just what I believe I was told at some point a while ago in the past there that the wheels that I've got here, I can't use though, although they will fit the Mondeo, I couldn't use them on the Mondeo because the Mondeo is front wheel drive and they're specifically designed for rear wheel drive cars. Like I say, if you know better than me, leave it in the comments below and let me know. It's just what I think I was told at some point or I read somewhere way, way back in the past. For now though, I'm gonna see if I can uh, give these a bit of a wash and a polish because they're, uh, they're a bit scruffy, they're a bit dusty where they've been in storage. And obviously they're uh, not the best at the moment. So I'll see if I can, uh, I'll see if I can give them a bit of a, a clean and a polish, a bit tidy up make them look a bit better when they're inside the center of the wheel. Oh, by the way, this is how the wheel will look when it's got these on the inside. If you're wondering how they fit, they don't actually go in from the front, they actually go in from behind. So, they'll just slide through like that. Once that wheel's on the car, the actual wheel itself pressed against the hub, or the brake disc will keep that in place firmly. And these ones are a nice snug fit, they don't rattle like the ones did on the charger when I first tried to fit those. That's going to look amazing when it's done though. So I'll go and get these all washed and cleaned and uh, save them and polish them up. That's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to press the like button on the way out and consider subscribing to the channel, especially if you want to see more stuff like this being uh, brought back to shining ability and uh, putting the wheels on the wheels on the car. Catch you next time. Bye for now.